Well, staying on the outbreak, COVID-19 is caused by a member of the coronavirus family that has never been encountered before. Like other coronaviruses, COVID-19 came from animals. As the World Health Organization eventually declared it a pandemic and people are having panic attacks. To this end, a civil society group project Heart to Earth is calling on government at all levels to employ every drastic measure in the book to curb the spread. Yvonne Aguche has more. It is more obvious now than ever that the world is a global village. COVID-19 is spreading like wildfire and has dramatically reduced distance and isolation around the world. Here in Nigeria, the number of confirmed cases is gradually rising and every form of caution is advised. For instance, at this press conference where the spread of COVID-19 is the focal point, the first point of call is hand washing. Afterwards, this group made up of civil society organizations make recommendations to cap the spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Passengers on any flights arrivals into this country should be put on isolation for at least three days before having access to the community. All land borders should be monitored effectively and if possible, federal government should deploy military assistance at the land borders. Continuous radio, TV and street publicity and awareness should be enforced by all state governments. Seaports and, arri and arriving ships and vessels should be monitored effectively. Also, the issue of supply and demand of hand sanitizers comes up and a form of regulation by government is proposed. As at last week, I remember the Commissioner for Health of Lagos State saying that uh, Lagos State frowns at profiteering and they are rolling out their own sanitizers. So I'm sure immediately those sanitizers are available, they will be sold at control prices so as to ensure that people don't profiteer from hand sanitizers. In Nigeria, Africa and all around the world, people are respecting the worst. To this end, the federal government is restricting entry into the country for travelers from 13 countries, including the US and UK, as it announced five new cases of COVID-19 on Wednesday. Viviana Guche for Silverbird News 24.